Good afternoon, beer buffs. And I am with my final Oktoberfest of the season before the pumpkins kick in. And it's Oktoberfest from Real Ale. Let's pour. Pokey, pick it a pokey. Let's open this bad boy. Uh, weather's are changing. We got a cold front coming in. We should have some rain tomorrow, folks. And uh, yeah, winter, well, autumn is finally here. So I'm looking forward to Halloween. I have some treats for you there. Oh, look out. I'll do a couple of pumpkins and then on Halloween, I'm hoping to do a double whammy on couple of pumpkin beers for you so exciting times indeed so yeah what is this it's uh so obviously uh oh it's a six percent by alcohol volume um lovely golden color again like all of these are lovely kind of that european skunkiness again so following trend Hmm. Kind of a bit more malty. Hmm. Lovely um kind of bitter aftertaste to that one. Nice. It's um yeah, it's and tap says it's five point seven, but the actual beer itself says six percent. So let's go with what they say on the label, eh? Uh yeah, so they, they actually it gives you the um Oh, that's the best before. So you, you got this up until February. So there you go. Um, doesn't give you much else gump on here, but kind of cool artwork, you know? So, but yeah, not bad. It does have a nice kind of, um, do you know what? It does taste a little stronger. It does taste like it's veering on the 6% side. You know, I've had a few that have been a little bit lighter than this, but you can kind of taste that in this one. Not quite as smooth as some of the others I've had. Not a bad thing either, you know. Oh, by the way, cheers, Travis. My uh, second shirt he got me. He went over to... Uh, that they Dublin and uh, went to the Guinness factory and got me a proper official Guinness shirt. So, cheers, mate. I'll be having this with a Guinness soon, hopefully. Um, looking forward to you coming over and having a couple of Guinness and watching the Tottenham Hotspurs with me. So, I'd probably wear my Tottenham shirt for that. But yeah. Anyway, yeah. So it's um, Real Ale, like I said, and Real Ale is a brewery I've talked about before. It's um, out of uh, Blanco, Texas. Blanco's in the hill country. It's actually my good wife's hometown. Lovely little place, you know, it's not far to drive from here either. You know, it's just up the, well, I say it's just up the road. It, um, I know, maybe half hour, 40 minutes or something. So yeah, it's, it's a nice little town and uh, go and check it out. The brewery itself I've been to, as I've mentioned before, and they've been, going since 1996 so pretty well established that's before that's just after I started my college years actually and before I went to ABBA with uh, the Gav yeah so it's um they've been around a little while so that's kind of cool it is a good facility go and check it out so um ni nice place big place I'm sure they've moved around a little bit and got, you know, they are big. It's it's like everywhere you go here in um, Texas, you see real ale, you know? Well, the places I've been in Texas, like uh, Austin, San Antonio, you know, it's it's a big deal and fair play on the guys. They've been pretty successful. This is a nice little beer. Oh, I do. I'm looking forward to the pumpkins, um, you know, oh chuck here yeah. um but yeah it's yeah i've got a few lined up i actually picked up a six pack of some today so i pretty much have four or five lined up for you folks so i'll try and knock those out this week and um i actually have a nice cider i'm gonna review it i tried yesterday just a little taster but i'll i'll chalk it up for you guys for sure 
But yeah, this is going down well. And that won't last long. Anyway, a couple of beers that they do. The signature ones are, I've talked about the, a few of these before, is their Blondale, which is the Fireman's number four. Um, they do have uh, one where my wife grew up on a ranch, the Devil's Backbone in Blanco. And that's what it's called, Devil's Backbone. It's a Belgium triple, 8.1%. So that's strong. Uh, the IPA, their signature IPA is called Axis IPA. So that one's nice. Um, I've listed quite a few, but I just wanted to mention the um, stout. It's called Commissar. And I don't think I've tried it. It's a 9.8%. So I'll see if I can find that at some point. Sounds very nice. And they also do um, a sour called Goes. And it's a 4.4. .4, so it's kind of light sour. So check those out if you're in the area. Nice beers to try. And they actually do some mixed packs. Which, yeah, I've not talked about that. A lot of these breweries now, they do mixed... Uh, you can get a mixed... I know... Probably normally mix 12 packs or just a little selection of each kind of beer. So look out for those in your uh, supermarkets and your uh, specs and such and your off licenses. So it's kind of a little good deal, you know, just to mix it up a bit. The good thing about specs, I have to say, they, um, they do individual cans and you can do a mix and match type of thing. You know, like those back in the day when you go to Woolworths and you have pick and mix kind of thing you can do it with beers now so i kind of like that that's not everywhere i now i like uh i have to say mention trader joe's they're really good for that they have all their like six packs of beers but you can just go in there and pull just one beer off and just purchase the one if you want you don't have to buy the full pack so kind of cool some stores do that i like that yeah as for this um let me list a couple of beers before I uh, rate it quickly. Um, well, you, what am I talking about? I've already listed a few beers from them. I'm losing it. I'm going mad. Mad. Sorry about that. Just a uh, age kicking in there. <laughs> so I guess I should rate it. Just felt a bit quick. But here we go. Um, yeah, solid. I'm enjoying this. Um, I'd probably give it, I think it's a solid 8, honestly, it's it's a nice beer, um, yeah, I think I'd give this an 8, you know, fair play, I am enjoying it. It's been a fun October fest season, guys, and I hopefully I'll do the same for you guys next year, but with some different ones, so chalk that up for the future next year. I just got to remember not to review the same same ones. But my mind, anything's possible. So um, look out for that and look out these coming weeks. Uh, sorry, these coming days for my pumpkins and see what else lines up going into November. Let's get into the stouts, eh? It's going to November stout season. And then we got Christmas and we should get some nice festive ales. Oh, I'm so excited. So much to look forward to. So... Thanks for all your support, guys. I appreciate it. I'll keep chalking these up as much as I can. I'll try and get uh, the coach involved in one soon, and maybe Kyle and even the governor, if he finds some time. We'll try and do that soon. And uh, Anyway, cheers and happy October.